When the defendants in the Tabo Bester escape trial appeared in court on Wednesday, it was a dramatic day at the Bloemfontein Magistrates Court, following delays caused by Bester's sweetheart, Nandifa Magadimana, becoming ill and failing to show, Bester and his co-accused finally made a brief appearance. As the case was being heard, she remained in the holding cells. Magadimana was carried to court from a prison in Kronstadt while nude, according to the court's hearing. The state was informed of Magadimana's poor condition on Tuesday, according to senior prosecutor Amanda Bester who is not related to Tabo Bester. But she declined to be examined by a medical officer. Magadimana was said to have passed out in the holding cells, which caused a nearly hour-long delay in the proceedings. Makaini Madlam. Her attorney said that she was brought to court inhumanely. The state had agreed to allow Motlung's client to appear virtually because she was ill, but that request was denied. Maggie Dimino was properly dressed when she left Kronstadt, according to Amanda, who refuted claims that she was abused. She claimed that when the prison guards escorting her arrived at court, they were astonished to discover her naked in the back of the van. Alyssa stated, while walking, she took off her clothes. She was not there when Bester and the other ten defendants, including Magadimana's father, Zolayl Sekalini, appeared, and the prosecution informed the court that the matter would be tried separately. Bester's lawyer, Cabello Matti, asked the court to clarify with him who was the attorney of record for him as the proceedings got underway. This came after Jan Lobscher, another lawyer, identified himself in court as Bester's legal counsel. Lobsher informed the court that he would be working with lawyer Zandil Mshololo. Bester said that all the lawyers would collaborate and that he would also hire advocate Darlene Pofu. The state was withdrawing charges against Natasha Jansen, Devang Meyer, and Moketsi Ramoyela. Amanda informed the court. Also, the state was prepared to deliver the indictment to the defense and share the docket's contents with them. She declared that the state was prepared to schedule a pre-trial hearing. The case has been assigned to the High Court for pre-trial proceedings, with the agreed-upon date of February 21, 2024.